Hi, today we're going to create two workflows that will examine a user's first name field upon Okta account creation and if necessary, replace or remove special characters. We will write the output of the workflow to a field in Okta called validated name. Before you get started, here are some things you'll need. Access to an Okta tenant with Okta workflows enabled and configured for your org, a user with special characters to be replaced, and a read-write Okta sourced attribute called validated name. To create our work first workflow, we'll click on Create a Flow Now. The event that will start our workflow is a child flow. We're going to call the input to that child flow input. Our first function will be a replace patterns function. We're going to look in the input field and for this replace patterns, we will replace with nothing. We're going to leave it blank. We're going to leave all instances true and case sensitivity to true because we are looking at the first name field and we want to be sure that we respect the case sensitivity in the name. So our first input that we want to replace is a tilde. We're going to click on the next box and change that to input two. And now we want to replace an apostrophe. We're going to click again, change that to input three. And now we want to replace a space. Notice the slash S. Click again, input four, and now we're going to do an underscore. Click again, input five, and now we're going to do a hyphen. Click again, input six, and now we're going to do a period. Again, note the slash. We're going to replace all of these values with nothing. Our next function card will be our replace patterns, and we're going to grab the result text on the output of the first pattern card and drop it into the look in on the second pattern card. This time we're going to replace with a, with a lowercase a. I will complete the inputs and we'll be right back. I've completed our inputs for lowercase a and I'm going to add a new function card, replace patterns. I'm going to take the result text of our lowercase a, Put in the look in in our next replace pattern, and this time we're going to do uppercase A. You can repeat this with as many replace patterns cards as you need. Once you've completed all of your replacements, the last function card we're going to make is a return card. We're going to take the results text of our final return card and drop it the result text of our final replace pattern and drop it in our return card. We're going to label that remediated. And save it and get rid of that. And now we're going to save the flow. And this will be called special character remediation. We're going to save all the data that goes through it, and we're going to turn it on. Now we're going to create a second flow, and this time the flow will be triggered by a user create event. The first card we're going to create is an app action card, where we're going to go read some data from Okta on the user. We are only interested in the user's first name. So we're going to untick all of the boxes except for first name. And we're going to hit save. We're going to take the Okta user ID and put it in the user field of the read user. And our output will be the first name. Our function then will be find pattern. Our, we're going to drag the first name field into the look in. And for the pattern, we're going to look for a specific expression. This expression will look for capitals A through Z, lower cases A through Z, or numbers 0 through 9. And now we're going to do an if else. Oops, not a continue if, an if else. We're going to take the position from the find pattern and drop it into value A. 
and we're going to make the value b be negative 1. We're going to go ahead and create our output, which is validated name. And if the value is true, we're going to assign the first name, and we're going to change the output to unchanged. I want to drag that into the drag true output here. If it's false, we're going to call a flow. We're going to select our special character remediation flow that we created, and our input will be first name. Our output is remediated. We're going to drag that into the false. And now we're going to update Okta. We're going to do a partial update. And for this update, we are only interested in a, our field called validated name. So we're going to deselect de everything else except for validated name. I'm going to save that. We will get our ID value from the read user, and we'll drag validated name into the validated name. We'll save that, and we'll call this special character validation. And we will save the data. And we'll turn the flow on. And then we'll go check our work. We're going to create a person. We're going to call him while dash e coyote. While dash e dot coyote at acme.com. We'll create that and then check our workflows. Going back to our workflows, we can see that it executed. If we check our flow history, we can see that it ran and it noticed that there was a dash or hyphen in the name and it remediated it by removing the name. And then we updated the validated name field with Wiley E without the dash. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.